So I finished my video project and now I want to burn it to a DVD, but I don't just want to burn it to a straight DVD that plays as soon as I put it in the player, which I can if I'm going to use toast, but I'm going to make a flashy little DVD. So I'm going to name my iDVD project, I'm going to save it to the desktop, and I'm going to make sure that I'm selecting the right aspect ratio for my project. Now I've got my computer muted, but there is automatic music that comes along with your uh, DVD menu. So you can change that through the media tab. You can go into your iTunes library and you can drop in a new video. You can choose different themes here. I'm just going to go with the one that comes straight up. Now this little drop zone here is confusing. If I drag and drop my video there, I think, oh, I'm adding my video, but I'm not. I'm just adding a pretty little placeholder a little bit of an image or moving images on my um, on my project. So and again, so you think, oh, I'm just going to name it here by retyping over top of Revolution Main, and I'm going to call it Zoe, and, and I'm finished, and that's great. And then I can just drag this guy around and look, my video's in, and it's not. What you need to do is drag and drop your video into the window, and there it is. Then we can call it. what we want to call it and we're just gonna drop it in and that's our movie so now I'm ready to go but I want to preview it first so I'm gonna press this play button and it gives me what it's gonna look like and I'm gonna click on good to see you and it should start my movie which it will and there we go so I'm just gonna hit the X and it goes back to my project and when I'm ready I'm going to press this little burn button and it's going to ask me to pop in a DVD, which I will, and it'll start burning. So then when you put it in a DVD player, it'll look all flashy like you get when you buy commercial DVDs.